Neocolonialism is a secret form of colonization. Mental slavery is slavery you cannot see, and neocolonialism is a product of that. So these so-called independent, non-colonial areas of this world are still being controlled by false information. To keep a facade so its oppressor can keep its power. The unfortunate reality of the post-Second World War world order, and especially the post-Cold War world order, is that the dominant hegemonic place of the UK as an imperial power was uh, taken over by the US. And uh, they are the best students uh, of uh, the, the old British Empire as well, and have learned from many of the structural weaknesses that the uh, British Empire uh, had. So the British Empire directly ruled its colonies, you know, be they in, um, in Asia or Africa, uh, whereas the modern form of imperialism is much more subtle. It's very rare to see some sort of uh, hegemonic power, colonial power, directly controlling territories uh, outside of its core metropole. Uh, instead, they manage uh, countries to turn them into what are called neo-colonies. So this is something that uh, uh, Kwame Nkrumah, the first prime minister and also first president of Ghana, uh, wrote about. Uh, he called it neo-colonialism. And he said it was the final form of, uh, of imperialism. And in neo-colonialism, you have countries that they look independent. You know, they look sovereign. They have institutions. They have elections. They you know, uh, have this public facade of being independent, democratic. However, their political and especially economic decisions are made abroad, and there's just a native face to it. That happens in Latin America, it happens in Africa, happens in Asia.